You ought to get some padding on those benches, Buchanan. Go help Kite unhitch the team. Jace, take Quinn and go get some firewood.
I'm sorry. I... Sorry! You don't know the meaning of the word sorry. That's the only prisoner I've ever lost. And before we get the gallows pass, I'm gonna teach you what sorry means. Now hitch up that team. So Quinn's the first prisoner you ever lost, have you, Dan? Since when did you stop counting Emmett Ames? Ten years is a long time, but there's still a lot of folks who remember how you... Why don't you shut up and get in the wagon? Nice to you. Could put you inside. You learn to take orders where she's going there. It makes no difference. Man, woman, or child, they just count noses. So get up there. Well, you left nothing here, Madge, to come back for. So do your time and keep going. Don't worry, Sheriff. Tell Mr. Farrell I wouldn't cross the street to spit on him. Even if he was on fire. Let's go, Kate. Yep. Gets back, take some of this load off me. What load are you referring to? What do you think this is? Chicken feathers? No, 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 sir. I just a figure of speech. I meant us. Yeah, let me get that you. put in a good morning's work. How about a beer, huh? Yeah, good idea. Beer and a steak. Steak sounds good. Yeah, listen, got the money? The, the money? Well, it's your idea. It's your treat, isn't it? Yeah, but don't, don't you think steak's a little heavy this early in the day? Maybe, maybe eggs to be good. Yeah, eggs. Good, good idea. Eggs and steak. Eggs, oh.
who it is. Mr. Buchanan? I, uh, I don't know. He'll tell us when he comes to. is expecting three prisoners. Now, he doesn't look at faces and he doesn't read descriptions. He just counts noses. He's expecting three prisoners and that's what he's gonna get. prison wagon. Prison wagon? That's right. You're on your way to the territorial state prison at Gallows Pass to serve five years for manslaughter in the place of a slicker named Quinn. sentenced to five years at the Gallows Pass prison. That's where I'm taking you. And when I deliver you to the warden, he pays me $100, no questions asked. All he expects is a body, and that's what he's getting. Oh, I know what you're thinking. That you'll just tell the warden who you are and walk away while well, you're wrong there, too. The territory pays the warden $50 a month to keep Fred Quinn locked up. 
And that's all you mean to him. Fifty dollars a month, six hundred a year, three thousand for five years. No more, no less. I suppose you get back in that way. You must need a hundred bucks awfully bad. Maybe you'd rather ride back here. Maybe I would. Put her in a box, Kite. That's the gospel. The horse was just roaming loose. I still say you're a liar. I'm telling you the truth. Just how far west of Yucca Wells did you find this horse, Mr. Johnson? Ten or fifteen miles. Joseph, let's head out Yucca Wells Way, see if we can find any trace of horse. Give him luck, Captain. Don't you worry about that. Well, if Mr. Johnson happens to remember anything that he hasn't told us, telegraph us care of the sheriff at Yucca Wells. We'll be there by tomorrow night. I'll do it, Ben. Gallows Pass is the home office of hell. Keep your mouth shut and do as you're told. That's the only way that a man can make sure he won't leave in a box. And that goes for the ladies, too. I'm just telling you this so you'll understand why I won't be speaking up for you when we get there, Mr. Gwen. It's every man for himself at Gallows Pass, dog eat dog. Buchanan, who's he work for? Himself. But you're not here because Buchanan doesn't want to lose a hundred dollars. Did you ever hear of a man named Emmett Ames? I think everybody's heard of the Ames game. That's right. <laughs> well, Buchanan's the one who lost him just the day before he was going to hang Emmett out to dry. So? Uh, so it didn't figure. Buchanan was sheriff of Piute County. He was a big man. He was an important man. He was the best lawman in the territory at that time. But after Emmett escaped, people began saying how, well, he couldn't have done it without help. You got him, Joe. For big money. Not that there was anything anybody could prove. Just talk. <laughs> yeah. But it killed Buchanan as a lawman. Yeah, even after the talk died down, this is the best he could do. He's been waiting a long time for the people to forget. That's all this to me. This is Buchanan's last trip. He's up for appointment for deputy U.S. Marshal when he gets back. And if he was to show up minus Fred Quinn, well, it might strip all that old talk about him and Ames, but there'd go that Marshal job. <laughs> and he wants that mighty bad. Oh, you're worth a lot more than a hundred dollars to him. A lot more. There's a water hole down the next draw. We'll make camp there. Why are they taking you to Gallows Pass? <laughs> Murder. I shot a payroll messenger up in Loon County. I got away with nearly fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> One of the payroll messenger didn't die soon enough, but the posse caught up with me washing out a pair of long johns in the creek a few miles down the road. How come you didn't get the rope? I would have, except I buried the payroll, and I didn't tell where, and I still haven't. The judge gave me life. I guess the warden at Gallows Pass has got orders to make it so rough on me. I'll just talk sooner or later. You don't seem very worried. Well, honey, the way I look at it, the only time to start worrying is when you stop breathing. Till then, anything can happen. <laughs> Who knows? I may never even get the gallows pass. <sighs> me neither. He's gonna have to kill me to get me there.
I don't know. They'll let us know when they get here. Son Joseph. How are you? Price Buchanan's mine. Mr. Buchanan, I notice you're heading west. Did you happen to come through Yucca Wells? Picked up a prisoner there yesterday. Why? Well, looking for my son, Horse. Yesterday, we picked up a fella in Virginia City who was riding his horse. Claims he found the horse wandering around here somewhere. I just wonder if you've seen a man on foot. No. No, I haven't seen a soul since I left Yucca Wells. Matter of fact, I haven't seen anybody since I left Stone River before that. Sorry. Well, there's a million to one chance. Thank you, Mr. Buchanan. Okay. that wheel, even if we had the tools. Huh? I know that. Hey, you can How about letting us out of this sweat box? It's only about uh, 20 miles to Willow Pass. Get there and back before morning. Sure you could. Unless you made a detour through every whiskey mill in town like you did the last time I sent you for supplies. Yeah, well, that was different. Yeah, well, this is different. So I'm going myself. Jace, get the team unhitched. I'll use them for pack. I'll take your horse so I can switch off and make better time. Don't you take your eye over them for one minute while I'm gone. Do you hear that? Yeah. Hey, Kite, you better cut that out. Boy, you got a hankering to do some temperance work. You go somewhere else and do it. What you said yesterday. That Buchanan will have to kill you before he delivers you to Gallows Pass. Yep, I sure did. What are you waiting for? Right time. What's wrong with now? Jace will be asleep. All you have to do is catch Kite off balance for a second, and maybe I could arrange that. What would be in this for you? They gave me a year in Gallows Pass. I'd like to cut that down by about 365 days. What'd you do? That's none of your business. Well, first lawman who came by, I might have to make it some of my business. Oh, just an honest, law-abiding citizen, huh? That's about it. And you wouldn't believe me? Well, maybe not, but why don't you try? There's a man in Yucca, Wales. His name is Farrell. He owns most of what's nailed down and a lot of what isn't. And when he says jump, all you ask is how high. Well, he took to seeing me socially, as they say, at night when no one was looking. He talked about getting married. And didn't mean it. Oh, he meant it all right. All he didn't mean was it to me. And I wouldn't take no for an answer. I found myself on the inside looking out. I was arrested, tried, convicted, sentenced so fast. The judge and jury had to wait 20 minutes before the first saloon opened. What did he charge you with? Stealing a stinking little diamond ring Pharaoh gave me six months ago. Look, don't choke trying to swallow that story. I don't care. If you have to go honking after the first town constable that comes along, that's your problem. I take my chances. I'm not asking any favors. You need me to catch Kite off balance. I need you to get 
get on this godforsaken desert. After that, it's goodbye and good luck. What about that one? I wouldn't trust him any further than I could throw the king of Siam's pet elephant. son and I just rode in from Virginia City. Uh, ben Cartwright. Yes, sir? I've been expecting you. A telegram came for you this afternoon. Oh, thank you. Anything wrong? A uh, deputy back in Virginia City found a wanted poster for the man who said he was Sam Johnson. His name is Fred Quinn. He's supposed to be on his way to Gallus Pass and Price Buchanan's tumbleweed wagon. Well, Miss Quinn couldn't very well be in the wagon. We left him in Virginia City jail yesterday. Now, Price Buchanan didn't mention anything to me about anyone escaping. No, to us. All he told us was he hadn't seen anybody with foot in the desert. Anybody ever got away from me, I'd ask everyone I saw, wanting all the help I could get. Yeah. I think we better have another talk with Price Buchanan. Thank you, Sheriff. and Gallows Pass. It might make things a lot easier on you if I asked him to. Of course, a fellow does a favor. You should get a favor. I guess so. Pistol out, butt first. Now come here. Pull. Get the keys. Get these things off me. You stay out of this. Oh, honey, you couldn't drag me into this thing. Now, both of you, get that wagon. Go on. Get in here. You two just run along now. We're wasting time.
was all his fault, Mr. Buchanan. I Shut up! Kite, you get out of my sight while you're still able to walk. You're a fool if you stay with this crazy man. Which way did Cartwright and the girl go? Cartwright? Oh, you mean Mr. Quinn. Daddy, don't you play with me. The footprints will sell you if I don't. The last I saw them, they were headed that way. All right. Get out of those manacles. We're going after them. You're going after them, Buchanan. I'm just going. Find a better place somewhere. Come on. You've been saying that for the past two hours. Look, you can't even be right behind us. I don't care. I don't get you, mister. I don't get you at all. Why are you doing this? What do you want? Come on. Answer me. What do you want? Nothing. Don't tell me. I haven't met a man yet who didn't want something, and most of all was what Kite wanted. And stop tickling yourself, mister, because there isn't any left, not for you or any other man in this stinking world. Now get out of here. Leave me alone. I can take care of myself. Miss Tucker, you may find this hard to believe, but you ain't got nothing I want now or ever. I made a deal, and I'm gonna stick to it. Now, you're proving that that, that ain't too smart. Now, I'll do something about that later, but right now, we gotta hurry. Now, come on, let's get out of here. <sighs> Somebody sure left here in a hurry. Take a look at this. Brand new wheel. They didn't bother to put on it. Just abandoned the wagon. There's nothing in the wagon that says horse was here. Take a look at the tracks, though. Got two people on foot followed by horses. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah. Let's start tracking.
that cabin when the mirage. Chris, you catch your breath? Wait till we get there. Hey. You don't, I can make it that far. You sure? Yes. We're in luck. Looks like an old abandoned land shack. There should be stores here. Come on. friends of yours or I'll blow your head off right where you're standing. Don't be smart, Buchanan. Look, I've got a lot of money in no way. I'll pay you anything you Shut up! What's the matter? And my money is good as Ames was! That doesn't answer his question, Buchanan. He's right, Buchanan. Up until you, I never took a dishonest dime in my life. I was a lawman and a good one. Maybe that's what the trouble was. Everybody had it in for me. Buchanan! You've got ten seconds to let Getty walk out that door! I 
just wanted to be alone, man, again. Sack, hold your fire! Hold it! Listen. What's the matter with you? What are you helping him for? I ain't helping him. But I ain't helping you either. Now, you call your boys off. Tell them to get out of here. Go on. No. Miss Tucker, get the keys and take these cuffs off me. Good girl. <sighs> Miss Tucker, it looks like you and me sort of locked horns, don't it? But I'm gonna let you make up your own mind. You make the decision. You're gonna have to kill me before either one of you walk out of that door. Now you go ahead and make up your mind. I thought you were kidding. You really are an honest, law-abiding citizen, aren't you? I try. Mr. Farrell signed a complaint. He was a prosecution witness, the only one. If anything's done, it's up to him to do it. But if you was to push to have this case reopened, it surely would embarrass Mr. Farrell and his new wife. Well, you know, that's what I'm going to do now. What are you going to do? I'll tell him what you got in mind. It'd be my pleasure. I'd be mighty surprised if he didn't ask the court to suspend Miss Tucker's sentence. I'll see him right away. Buchanan's dead. Didn't think he was that seriously wounded. Doc said he wasn't. Free man who wanted to live. I thought I knew all about men. But you sure changed my mind. Well, you you could have blown a pretty big hole in the back of my head out there in that cabin at the end. You didn't. Like Kite says, I reckon you do a favor and you get a favor. Is that really the way it works? I think most of the time. But I reckon you have to find that out on your own. Yes. I suppose so. Well, Good luck, Miss Tucker. Uh, thanks. Yes. 